Today we're going to work on finding the maximum or minimum value of a quadratic function. Now, essentially what we're looking to do is figure out where the function takes on its greatest value and where the function takes on its absolute smallest value. Now, from looking at some of these quadratic functions, sometimes they can get quite complicated. They might have decimals, fractions, or a few other things. But finding the min or max is actually a, a straightforward, simple process if you know what to look for. So let's look at the process and see how this is done. To figure out uh, the maximum or minimum of a quadratic, the very first thing we need to do is check its a value. This is the uh, coefficient in front of the x squared term. Now what this will essentially tell us is that the quadratic is either facing up or down. Here's how it works. If the uh, coefficient in front of x squared is positive, then our quadratic is facing up. That means that it takes on a low value and that it will have a minimum. If, however, that a value is negative, then our quadratic is facing down, and then it has a maximum value. So in either case, we're essentially just looking for the vertex. Now it's going to really help us out, because for the second step of this, as soon as we know which direction it's facing, we simply use the formula for the ver vertex to figure out where that max or min is located. So we use x is equal to negative b over 2a. Once we have that value, we plug it into the function, and it'll tell us what the value of the max or min actually is. So now let's do two examples using this process, and you'll see exactly how easy this is. All right, so this is my quadratic function, and I want to find the maximum or the minimum, depending on which one it has. Very first thing I do is go ahead and check the a value. So that, again, is the coefficient right in front of x squared. As you can see, this thing is positive, 7.5, a nice positive number. And, what, and the information I'm getting from that is that my parabola is facing up. So I know that it will have some sort of minimum value. Now I just have to find it. All right, this is where that formula comes into play. So I know the minimum will occur at x equals negative b all over 2a. So I'm going to use my 7.5 for the a value, and I'll use this one in front of the x for the b value. All right, so x equals negative, and we'll use our b value, a negative 63, all over 2 times the 7.5. All right, now this will require a little bit of simplification, but not too bad. So negative times a negative will be a positive 63. 2 times 7.5, 15, and looks like this just turns into a 4.2. Now be careful, that 4.2 is not the minimum, this is where the minimum occurs. If we actually want to figure out what that minimum value is, we need to take this 4.2 and put it into the function. So let's take our function, Plug in 4.2. So everywhere you see an x, go ahead and put in 4.2. Now even though there are a lot of terms in the function, you can always uh, use the calculator to help you out with some of these uh, calculations. When I did this, I got a negative 33 so now I can say that the minimum value is a negative 33.3. And in case I ever want to know where it is, remember we already found this earlier, it happens when x equals 4.2. So the process is pretty straightforward, but let's see this one more time just so you have it down. Now we'll try it with a negative 3x squared plus 201x minus 54. So again, the very first thing I want to do is let's check that a value. And in this case, the a value is negative. So my parabola is facing the other way, which means I have a maximum. Not bad. All right, now we will use our formula. x equals negative b over 2a to figure out where this happens. So negative, uh, the value of b will be that 201, so let's grab that. 
negative 201 all over 2, my value of A is the negative 3. All right, looking pretty good. So it looks like I have a negative 201 all over a negative 6, or I can just say 201 over 6. Now you'll notice that this one doesn't simplify, but that's okay. Now all we have to do is take this and plug it into our function. So f of x, we'll plug in the 201 all over 6. And again, everywhere we see an x, we'll put in this 201 all over 6. Now this one is quite a mess, so I'll definitely use my calculator to uh, help me out as much as possible with this guy. Let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, so let's plug this in. We'll start with a negative 3 times 201 divided by 6 squared plus 201 times 201 divided by 6 and then minus 54 alright so looks like I'm getting about uh, 3312.75 so I can say the minimum value is 3,312.75. And again, remember, if you want to know where this happens, that's the x value you found earlier. For more videos, please watch MySecretMathTutor.com.